Hi guys, it's Cecilia Ivy Price. Of course, I lose my voice as soon as I start talking. <clears throat> uh, today I wanted to talk to you about Death of a Starving Artist by Nicholas Allen. Um, I think that this is the book that I wish I had when I was in art school. And uh, I'm trying to keep this a brief video, which I'm not known for. But I just wanted to go through and tell you some of the um, stuff included in this book, which is why I think it's the book that I really wish I had <laughs> when I was in art school. Um, as opposed to, you know, trying to figure out most of the stuff on on your own or having some, you know, an instructor that maybe is a little bit outdated trying to, you know, have you do a resume that's plain, but a lot of people these days are adding images to the resumes and stuff like that. So, um, Anyway, this book was actually made in 2014, so it is slightly outdated, but not really. I mean, Instagram's still around for now. Um, so, uh, yeah, it talks about planning a journey, finding the right message, and, like, what you want to say with your work. Um, that's probably going to happen throughout this video. He's had all day to talk to me and wait until I'm talking to someone else. Um... A lot of marketing, I mean, tons and tons of marketing, like, talking about, like, what cities you should target, um, venues, where to find your audience, um, how to create your toolbox and, like, your artist packet, it's something I had to learn in school, you know, like, doing your, uh, your business cards, your resume, um, I don't think he talks too much about resume in here. He might, and I may have glanced over it because I already have some stuff like that I already have. Um, one of my favorite parts was the press release. So he actually gives you a sample press release, and um, I gladly borrowed some of that <laughs> already. Um, so it talks about YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. You know, again, these are all still around, so it's not that dated. Um, QR codes. One thing that I should make better use of. Um, formatting your press release and stuff like that. And basically, I mean, there's so many parts of this book that I would read out of if I had unlimited time. But, um, I mean, it even talks about, like, what order to put your website pages in. And, you know, goes through, like, creating a website. Um... Oh, it also talks about email marketing, and, um, I use MailChimp, but there's another one called Con... Oh, I should write that down. I want to say Content Kit, something like that, um, that I'm debating on moving towards, since I had a hiccup with my last newsletter. I'm a little annoyed with, uh, MailChimp right now, um... So, not only did it not go out on time, but it also, after creating 33 separate social posts, it didn't, I thought it didn't send any of them out, but then I actually found that it did, but um, for the most part it just gave me errors, and the rest of them, thankfully, it didn't send it out 33 times. Also, make note not to use your iPad to send anything from MailChimp. You can edit stuff. But if you try to send stuff, apparently it won't actually go through. Or at least my iPad, it didn't. Um, but, I mean, he talks a lot about clarifying your objectives, making meaningful connections with new people, increasing your visibility, name recognition, building your mailing list, which is very important. And I'm finding out through trying to read other books and whatnot how important mailing lists are. I have another book that I just finished before this, um, but I don't think that one is really worth reviewing. This one has tons of awesome information. It's actually not like a huge, giant, crazy book. Um, and the other thing is there is a, like, workbook that goes with it. It used to have its own dedicated site, but now it is, um, now defunct, unfortunately, and the author is actually a um, what do you call it, realtor, which doesn't put too much faith, but 
Um, I mean, he's still doing well, and he still advocates for artists, so, um, I wouldn't let that stop you from buying this book. This has been an awesome resource, and I think every artist should have this, especially young, starting out artists. Um, I don't know if I should read from this or not. I didn't want to have to edit this video, but I might. Okay, here's, yeah, this is one thing I wanted to read, and that's it. Um, I had the epiphany that it would be far more notable pursuit to share my knowledge and passion for branding, marketing, and advertising with other artists and entrepreneurs who are struggling through the same issues that I have faced throughout my career, rather than focusing it entirely on my own endeavor. After all, I believe it is through servicing others that we can come closest to achieving our true purpose in life. And I think he was able to do that in putting so much information in this book and giving you a toolkit that um, is just unbelievably useful. I don't know if you can see like the pages that I have bookmarked. I've written all over this thing. Um, that's beautiful. And that is the end of my review. If you like these videos, please let me know in the comments. Um, also by liking and subscribing, that lets me know that there are people out there actually watching these and that, you know, you're getting some use out of them. And it's not just me talking to myself. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and I hope you have a great day. Hasta lasagna. Don't get any on you.